Hi guys, Lassie Leno is here and um, let's talk. So, um, so I want to have a very serious conversation with you guys. Every Nigerian out there needs to hear this. Um, every Nigerian who is who has a good heart, except you are a bastard, you are a, an Oluri Buruku, you are a wicked person, you are whatever. But if you really have a conscience, I want you to hear this because you might fall under this category and you didn't even know. You pretty much have thought for the longest time you were doing the right thing. But I'm here to tell you that you were wrong. I'm here to let you know that that is not how it's supposed to be done. And you should learn to do better. So I don't go speak too much pidgin English. I want to I want to communicate to everybody out there. So I'll make sure I'm I'm very transparent and honest. And if you think what I'm saying is out of context, out of line, I don't know about that. But this is how I feel. For the very longest time, Nigerians have been a very competitive set of people, which is good. Healthy competition is great. It helps you, it strengthens you, it propels you for the next generation. It sets your mind for what's to come. And that's a very good thing. However, let us learn to know the time for everything. You see, timing is key in life. When you're wrong with timing, you, you tend to hurt yourself or people. Now, I don't want to say, you know, go better for some people or now go okay your papa or Amadio and I go. But listen to me. People are going through things in this country. No doubt. We've always been going through things. People have suffered. People are going through financial, emotional, spiritual, all sorts of problems. Now, an average Nigeria has been doctrinated in such a way that we learn to fight our own demons we solve our problems ourselves we don't really want to tell people what we're going through until the thing don't scatter everywhere don't bust problem don't fool everywhere you don't need time for church mosque and and juju nine will come to cry out however first and foremost it's not every conf every time somebody confides in you that it leads to billing i know some of you out there might say ah now billing baba me i know billing we all know billing but sometimes somebody is just confiding in you, just wants a shoulder to lean on, a shoulder to cry on, not necessarily just someone to talk to. You see, talk people. You see that. You see in a, in, in in civilized or Western world, it's just because we are not very strong on therapy here. But in those places, these are the things people make their living of therapy. Just somebody talking to you. You're not doing anything special. Just talking. You're listening. You're not. Pro you're not even preferring solution. You're just listening to them. But they've been able to get it off their shoulders, off their chest. They feel lighter. That is a very big deal. Not too many people do it anymore in Nigeria. We don't do that because we don't tell people our problems because of fear of scrutiny. Uh, uh, um, you know, people would um, chastise you. People would. Um, gossip about you, backbite, and say all of, you know, several things about you. So most people tend to shy away from it, keep their problems to themselves. Problem. There's no award for problem. There is no AMVCA for who has the most problem. Stop thinking when somebody is confiding in you or telling you their problem is as an opportunity for you to come back and tell this person your own problem. No. In that moment, shut the feck up. Shut up. Shut the fecking up. Go shut up. Shut the feck up. Shut the feck up. Go fuck off. Idiot. What have we said? You want to let me know, say, now, so you, now you suffer pass. Go and collect AMVCA for, for the one that suffered the most. Let's go. Go and collect Oscar for the one with the most suffering and the most problem and the most unfortunate. Olori Buruku Ashiere. Lucifer. Someone comes to you to, to tell you what they are going through, that you seize it as a moment to counter-attack their problem. Someone just came to you, opened up to you that, Man, thank God for my life. Oh, I was at the hospital since last week. I had malaria. From malaria, they discovered it was it was high blood pressure. Then before I know, one thing, one thing, and the first thing that comes out of your smelling soak away mouth is that ha, 
your own better. If I tell you what thing happened to me, no, no, don't be a bastard. Don't be an unfortunate Lori Buruku that someone God will punish. Don't be that guy. No, that is not that is not why this person is coming to you. This person is just going through a lot and they felt the need to open up to your stupid, foolish, strong coconut looking nose just to let you know how things are with them. Only for you, just for you to first and foremost, what you're supposed to do is sympathize. Then the second thing to do is empathize. Oh my God. How was it? It must have been stressful for you. It is well. How were you able to face it? Was your family there for you? Did you have your spouse there? Was your partner there? Aye. If you don't collect money for your hand though, it is well. God go replenish your pocket. Even though you cannot be of financial aid or help or assistance to that person. Don't be an unfortunate bastard. Don't be the type of person that they will talk to finish. Somebody will not go and be regretting and be praying that motto will jam you so that what they told you will die with you. Stop being a, 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 a God forsaken animal and a scallywag. You are, they have just told you their own problem. You are already countering the problem that they didn't see anything compared to what you've experienced. That, eh? You, you have been in police station. They carried you among some boys. You don't go Kirikiri before. What's my business with Kirikiri? What is your father? What is, did I tell your grandfather I want to go to Kirikiri? And you are already talk, talking about, ah, <laughs> you're on better at least in the hospital you did. You still a seafood chop. Me, I think Kirikiri must do. No, that's not the time to tell me about your stupid encounter in Kirikiri. My daughter, don't, 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 don't be a god forsaken goat. Don't be an illiterate. Uh uh. You always want to. There is no award for who suffer pass. There is no award for who has the most suffer. Don't be a. Don't be an unfortunate fellow. Don't allow devil use your life to play Ludo. Don't be a goat. There's no award. There's no title for it. Somebody tells you their boyfriend did this to them. I already say, hmm, you're own better. You know, even they slap you. If I tell you what the man, then do me. If I look at there is muzzle on your face. That's why your eyebrows is not straight. That's why your eyebrows is all the way to your ear. That's why you look like somebody that problem would never live in life. That's why you did your nose look like the back of PSP truck. That is why you look miserable. Because small talk, they are confiding in you. You are already talking about how you have suffered more. Why are you a useless person in life? Why are you not? That's why you are not moving. In case you are in this category, maybe you didn't even know you were doing something wrong. I am actually here to tell you, you've been getting it all wrong. You have been getting it all wrong. When people come to you and open up to you, Listen to them. If it comes to time for billing, Jackpa, Salo, Jackpa, Fele Dai, run. Don't look back. Carry your slippers, dust them. Alele Kupion, run. Pssing. Don't turn. What if it's just emotional conversations? Person just, he look you, look you, look you, he just talk him. Don't make the person feel stupid. This is a wake up call. Let's learn to have each other's backs. Let's learn to be there for one another. Genuinely, you understand. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Lassie Sierleno and this is Let's Talk. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the link. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share. See you on our next episode of Let's Talk. Salute.